you're ensuing. No, no. How to install Hetman long tube headers in an S10 square body. <laughs> Welcome back to Streetcar Chronicles, where it's still hot in November. We're getting this thing loaded up to take to Dave so that we can finally put the motor and transmission in it. And maybe rig it up to where it starts. Maybe. And then we just have to do everything else. <laughs> what? Why do we hate ourselves? Yeah. Huh? Brakes? Brakes still work? Yeah, they work, but we can't get in the truck it's full of parts. Can you roll the window down at least to steer? I got, yeah. I got winch. I got it on the winch, man. We'll winch you down. We'll winch you down, but we need a steer to go over. Oh, yeah. You can roll the window down and steer just fine. Yeah. I mean, no, we got to kick the tire, Dave, like this. <laughs> what, Dave? You act like I didn't come prepared, Dave. Should be hanging off the side or Good falling down. Or maybe one sitting over here. Can we put the finger in the little C hole thing, Mhm. Mm it felt like there was a wall or something right there. I guess not. Unattainable, right? <sighs> these unattainable. These are these are in there forever. They never change motor mounts in these trucks, apparently. What it doesn't know is it's this side that's the hard one. Yeah. Hey. What it doesn't know. I just replaced the front rail on a Peterbilt. <laughs> <laughs> Peterbilt mechanic for the win. I don't know, dude. That's the worst one in here. <laughs> well, you gotta do. You gotta use a motor plate. Uh, no. At first, we used uh, uh, solid mounts. Then we went motor plate. Uh, down in the hole. <laughs> down in the hole. <laughs> I think I think you have to go in from the spring pocket. I'm almost certain.
<laughs> you know? Nah. Well, you'll, I'll get you the partner for the loop, too. Okay. But I got the hoses and everything for this water pump. That's why I was like, we're gonna run away with this water pump. Yeah. Did they make a different water pump? Or what do you mean? You want a different water pump? No, I'm just asking, oh, do they oh, make oh, different oh, ones? I don't know. Yeah, they make different ones. They got a truck style that comes up here. Oh, and oh, a F body comes right here. But this will mess with that balancer. Oh, yeah. And you just get an LS3 style. Oh, the baby one? This is what happens when you try to install Headman long tube headers that go in the frame rail of an S10 for an LF. On the driver's side. Oh, Anger ensuing. Oh shit! No, no. How to install Headman long tube headers in an S10 square body? <laughs> get a big I could get it in there we could, uh, if you wanted to, we could put a jack, lower it down, put a jack under the control arm, pull the control arm loose. It would fall right in there, probably. See, what you can, if you can see what's going on here, uh, everything's hitting everything. And uh, we tried going from the bottom, it didn't work. Trying to go from the top. This side fell into place quite nicely. Not so much over there. According to the paperwork, with these <clears throat> these motor mounts, these are the transdat motor mounts for these headers. Uh, they fall right into place. underneath here manhandling the uh, stuff and things. Howdy. And that's how you put headers in a CTSV. Yeah, that, that is how you put headers in a CTSV. But we can't do that here because this is a frame and, and this motor can't come out now, right Dave? It's going to suck. <laughs> Why are you running away when you see the light? Is it because you can't? 
way. I hate this part. This part is painful. What, hitting the head? Yes. Down here? Yeah, I think it's down. Well, it was the ear. So it was these bell housing. It's all this whole side right here. Yeah. Was hitting. So and that lines up right here. Okay. So on these. Make the violence stop. Make the violence stop. That's a Ryan Pye in the closet. Hang on. Please, please. Okay. Please. Don't let this fall on me. Please, sir. No more violence. Hey Dave. Hey, what's up, bud? Hey, we're gonna go ahead and go home. Do you need help with anything before we go? Uh, yeah. Do you need help putting your truck together? Yeah. yeah. Okay. We're staying in. That's a trip. Starts and runs. Big thanks to Dave today. Huge help. If you need any automotive service, whether it be race cars or, you know, headers. <laughs> it's actually getting uh, engine rebuilt, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. Give Dave a shout. Elmo Performance LLC. Dave, what's your number? Uh, 214-930-4300. I do tuning. Uh, pretty much can do all, mostly all domestic, actually all domestic tuning unless it's an uh, aftermarket computer. I can do it all. If I don't know how to do it, I'll figure it out or know somebody who can. You heard it. You heard it here first. Come over here and give this guy some work. He's a bad motherfucker. Well... We got back from Dave's last night. We got the engine installed, the transmission installed, and uh, it fought us a little more than we wanted to. The headers are pretty tight in this thing, and if you've never messed with an S10, you don't know the joy of long tube headers through the chassis. Uh, it's not fun, and it, uh, yeah, we ended up having to take a lot of stuff off that we didn't want to. But. And it's very tight. Uh, very oh yeah, it's tight. It's tight. Shit. We got that bad little turbo 350 put in there with the Pro Brake and the Ultra Bell and the FTI converter. And uh, even Dave hooked us up with a sweet SFI approved flex plate. That's nice, wasn't it? Yep, it was. Thank you, Dave. For yeah, thanks, Dave. Dave and uh, Carson did a lot of, a lot of work on the truck yesterday. Helped us out. You know, it's one of those things when you go to somebody else's shop, you, you, you don't know where everything is, so you gotta let you know, kind of, let them kind of take the reins and do what they need to do, and uh, you're there to assist at that point. And now we've got it back at our house. Now we're gonna start working on the stuff that we can do. We ended up having, to, you know, we had to modify the cross member. Um, and I'm not a welder. I mean, I can a little bit, but it ain't great. Um, so, uh, Dave did that for us and boxed it all back in. 
And uh, all that stuff just takes long. Yeah, it takes time. You know, we had all intentions of trying to maybe at least bottle feed this thing to get it to run. But after we started messing with the core support, um, we had a radiator we thought would work. Um, but uh, after putting it up here, I don't know if that's the way that I want to go. And I say I, I mean, it's Jake's truck. And yeah. he's not sure if that's the way he wants to go. You know what I mean? Yeah. So we're going to think about that stuff. But we're, we're, we're cooking with gas, okay? The first part is getting this thing in there, and it's in there. It is in there. It's in there. So, uh, next up, we've got the fuel cell on the way. We've got fans on the way. Fans on the way. We've got to figure out. We have a radiator we're going to use for mock-up. We're going to have to get a different radiator, and uh, we're going to figure out the core support situation. So, there's plenty to do. But uh, the hardest part was getting this stuff in there and fit in there uh, correctly. We had to massage the headers to get the transmission in. We had to massage the firewall to get the, the transmission bolts in, the bell housing bolts, and we had to mess with the cross member I bought, you know, or we, you bought. I didn't buy it, but you know what I mean? Yeah, I yeah. bought it. Yeah, it's your truck. Yeah, I bought it. Yeah. Okay. But anyway, so we didn't get to film this one really well, but we wanted to keep you up to date on what's going on. We are working on the S10. I don't know. Is it still called the Slimer truck, or are we going to change it? Yeah, it's called the Slimer for now. It's a Slime Dime? Slime Dime. It's a Slime Dime. Uh... <laughs> So we're gonna keep working away on this thing. Uh, hit the like button if you will, share with a friend, and uh, you know, always subscribe because you gotta subscribe to the channel in order for us to keep doing this stuff. And it's not, it's not really what you have to do, but we appreciate it because it helps us out. Drop a comment down below. What do you think? Uh, you uh, should we put a a blower on this thing or a turbo for this guy? Yeah. Drop it down in the comments below. None of that's happening. I can tell you that right now. None of that's happening. We'll see you next time, right Jake? See you next time.